Bob's two four. All right. Studio. Stop recording. Starts. Stop recording. Yes, I am recording. Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, video here. I'm going to be demonstrating a couple of games today. Um, the first one is called Deke Out, and the other one is Super Deke Out. Now, Deke Out it was the precursor, and basically the idea in Deke Out is you're running around trying to avoid a robot, and Super Deke Out takes that concept and, well, puts it on steroids, basically. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you Deke Out first. Let me make sure I'm recording. Stop recording, check up. Yes. Start streaming. And I am not streaming because I don't want to live stream right now. Folder view list. Deke Out. So we're going to launch Deke Out. Deke Out. Deke Out. <clears throat> so, this is a very simple. Eight points. Would you like to play again? Press Y or N. Yeah, so this is a very simple game. You use up, down, left, and right to move around the board. Uh, the robot is chasing after you. When you hear it beeping, it means the robot is on the same x-axis as you are. Also, when you get into the corners of the grid, you hear a little boom, 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 boom noise. And the longer you stay there, the more points you get. Uh, and basically the idea is to survive for as long as you can. So I'm going to play this again. So I'm going to hit Y. I'm sorry, my chair creaks a little bit. Let me actually move a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> All right, let's, let's, let's try this again here. Let's, let's go up this way. Ah! So the easiest thing to do is to hold the arrow keys. That's, that's a speed item which the robot got. I couldn't get to it in time. So, as you can tell, Deke Out is kind of boring. But I'll play it until I die. Actually, it's rather easy to avoid the computer. I'm just going to square. Oh, crap. Oh, it's faster. Whoa, why am I not moving? Oh, there we go. So, this was the initial deke out game. It's not much to talk about, is it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I would get the items, but I can't get to them before the computer does, so... It's okay, I'm just going around in a circle. Yeah. Also, the... The beeping sound is getting louder. Ooh, look at that, it's getting faster. Oh my. Oh my. Yes. Let's see how fast the computer can actually get here. I'm kind of curious now. Oh! Oh my, that was, um, that was too fast. It was, uh, I almost got myself killed. <laughs> this is crazy. Whoa. 379 points. Would you like to play again? Press Y or N. Alright, so desktop list. Deke out. That's deke out. Uh not 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 too much to say, honestly. It's kinda of boring. After a while. Now super deke out is like I say it's the game on steroids um basically there's a robot that's chasing after you you have to collect coins you have bonus items um and you have to see how long you you can last now I'm gonna play this and we're gonna actually see how far I can get <clears throat> but the base the same basic concepts still apply so you're inside of a grid, there are walls, you don't want to hit the walls t t too many times or else you'll lose uh, health, I believe, after a while. And there's my phone, sorry. Um, also, uh, just trying to think here. Really? Whatever. Anyway. Um, the other thing I wanted to say too is... 
Super Decout is, well, was commercial. Uh, it has now since been, been made free, but you still have to download the game, install it, and then download a registration patch. Basically, you need to patch the game executable uh, with the one that you downloaded. And I will, of course, be putting links into the video description for all this stuff. <clears throat> but, yeah, so you need to register it. And then you, you need to run the configuration program which was used to set up information for score posting, I believe, but of course the scoreboards are, are gone. The other thing too that I would recommend is that you might want to run both the configuration program and the game as an admin. That way the game can write to its folder because in Windows Vista and newer programs can't write data to the program files folder. Uh, and this is necessary for the cheats, which, yes, this game does have cheat codes. I think you get them if you have, like, 2 million points and you play on insane or normal, I think. But, um, Start. anyway, I'm going to... Let me slow this down a little bit. Pitch 50, rate 75, rate 70, rate 65, all out. Sam's self settings, Skype folder, Skype. Settings, self-destruct folder, collapse, collapse. Self-destruct, that's another game that I can demo at some point. Skype, snip and sound art, sticky note, super decal 1.1 folder, expanded, super decal 1.1 folder, new, expanded, game statistics, super decal, joystick utility, new. So, uh, game statistics, that opens up a text file that gives information on the game that you played, or on the last game that you played. It tells you how long you lasted, how many items you pick up, yada, yada, yada. Uh, joystick utility, you you can play this with a joystick and it actually works pretty well. And this lets you map your joystick commands. Play Super Decout. That's obviously how you launch it. Register Super Decout. That's the registration program, which isn't necessary anymore because of the patch. Super Decout configuration. That's the configuration program that you have to run after you install it. Super Decout documentation. And that's the manual. All apps. Soup, soup, registers, play Super Decout. So I'm going to launch the game. Secure desktop. And I'll hit Alt Y. Super Decout. Dan Z Games presents. Super Decout. Use your up and down arrow keys to select an option from the menu. Then press enter. Start game. Oh, and there's my phone chiming the time in the background. Sorry. Actually, what time is it? Let me see real quick. 9.30 a.m. 9.30. All right. Uh, so we have the menu here. Up and down. Of course, go through your menu options. Options. Start game. Start game. That's self-explanatory. Options. Options. View local top 10. That lets you view your local scores. View remote top 10. That used to let you view the remote scores from the scoreboard server, but that doesn't work anymore, obviously, because the server's gone. Dan Z Games is gone. Well, his old website is gone, I do believe. Send score to danzgames.com. That doesn't work anymore, obviously. Learn game sounds. Learn game sounds. Test speaker orientation. Test speakers. Quit game and exit. And quit. Let's actually run the, the speaker test. Test. This should be your left speaker. This should be your right speaker. If your speaker settings are correct, press Y. Otherwise, press N. Your speaker settings have been saved. Use your up and down start game. So if you hit N, I believe it reverses the stereo channel so that if your headphones or speakers are the wrong way, it will swap the channels so that right becomes left and left becomes right. Options. Uh, let's take a look at view options. options. Use your up and down arrow keys to select an option from the menu. Then press enter to change it. Music on. So off. You, you can hit enter or the space bar. So that's the music. You can turn the music on or off. All coins off. All coins, I believe that specifies whether you hear all the coins on the field or just the current ones in range. I tend to keep this off because it makes it easier to hear things. Send score automatically upon game completion. Off. 
that doesn't work anymore, but you could have it send the score automatically when you lost the game, but just leave that off. Automatically send stats as well? Off. Apparently you can send stats, but I don't think that works anymore. Like I say, because the server's gone. Return to main menu. So I'm going to turn the music back on. on all, me, off. On. So you can hit enter or spacebar to toggle those. All, start, return. Use your start game option. View, view, sit, learn game sounds. Let's go into learn game sounds. Use your up and down arrow keys to listen to the various game sounds. Coin. That's a coin. Collect coin. Robot. That's the robot. Rocket. All right, the rocket is another enemy that will join you later, and I think we'll probably get to that. Enemy shooting. The rocket will shoot at you, which is bad. Hazard. That's a hazard area. Good item. Nasty item. And I'll get into what these all mean. You get an item. Robot gets an item. Fusion. Fusion, these are special items. The fusion item will, I believe, warp you to the other side of the map. Enemy screams. That's when you kill the robot, which, yes, there is a way to kill the robot. Enemy dies. That's when it dies. Return to use your start game. All right, so let's actually play the game. I'm going to be playing this on normal. Use your up and down arrow keys to select a difficulty level. Easy. So you have easy. Normal. Normal. Crazy. Or crazy. Return to main menu. Crazy. Normal. All right, so let's hit enter on normal. Level one. Yep, and now you're in level one. Now, you can pause the game by pressing P. Start window. I'm going to hit the Windows key so that it quits playing that sound. So you get that music when you're paused. Um, I'm trying to think if there are any keys I missed. Um, I accesses your inventory. Let's see. Super deep out. <laughs> Don't have anything. F uses a, a fusion. No. Oh, I forget all the keys. Nine thirty four. Nine thirty four. Oh wow. 9.34 a.m. Oh, T tells you the real world time. I, I didn't know that. 9.34. That's cool. Whoa. <laughs> That's cool. I, I, I didn't know you could hit T to check the, 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 the time. All right, so I just bashed into... I score. I bashed into a wall. This is a bad item. Ah, the robot took my good item. So... There are good items and bad items. Obviously, the bad items are meant for the robot. And the good items... Armor. The good items are meant for User you. User health increase. And you get good items if you collect a bunch of coins very quickly, they will spawn. The bad items just spawn randomly, I think. And... Um, you don't want the robot to get them because that's bad. They will do all sorts of nasty things. Uh, you can hit enter. Five coins remaining. One hundred thirty health. You yeah, got me some more health. So, what I'm gonna do? We're gonna see how long I can survive. Let's collect that before the robot does. Oop, the robot's really near that coin. Let me get the robot away. So. Oh. So basically, you have to center the sound of the coins and then hit up or down to. Normal time bonus. Yeah, level two. Alright, I'm on level two. And basically, this is what you do user speed up. Oh, I, got, I got, I got, I got more speed. And it's going to wear off. So there's that. So, basically that's what this game is. It's just, it's endless and you try to see how long you can survive. User health increase. Go, got some more health, that's good. Alright. 
Also, the music in this game is awesome. Down. Crazy time bonus. Speed shock. Level three. All right. Now, the speed shock gives you a permanent boost to your speed. User invisible. Which is very useful. Oh. Now, with each level, the robot gets faster. Ah, it took my item. Oh. I love the music. User health increase. The music in this game is very well done. Level, level two. two. Hey! It brought me back to level two. What? That's not right. Oh, oh, oh. User speed up. User health increase. And that's what happens when the robot hits you. Ow. Eleven coins remaining. Two hundred health. I get a lot of health. Ow. Seven coins remaining. One hundred eighty health. Takes off twenty health per hit. Oh, 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 oh. This game's awesome. I like this game. It's just, it's, it's something different. And it, it just keeps you going. Oops, sorry, that's me. Bumping my, my microphone stand. I don't have a shock mount, so it just kind of rattles around. Oh well. I'm too cheap to get a, a proper shock mount. Ow. Oh, crap. Do do. Do do. See. One coin remaining. Oh. One hundred eighty health. Normal time bonus. Level three. So. Ow. User points. No, I want user health. User invisible. All right, invisible is useful. It makes me invisible to the robot. User health increase. Good. That's what we want. Health is always, always good. Let's get that nasty item before the robot does. Yeah, there we go. Now, let me explain what that is. So when you hear the numbers, those are experiment... Uh, so uh, apparently your experiment went awry and that's why the robot is chasing you. Uh, apparently you're some kind of a, of a college student or whatever working on a science project and your robot goes crazy is the story behind this game. So the numbers that you hear from time to time, you'll, you'll hear those numbers. And basically that is the pieces of your experiment. Now, if you collect them in ascending order, so one, two, three, you get an item that's either a fusion, which warps you to the other side of the map, I think, when you hit a wall. There's an item neutralizer, which gets rid of nasty items. And there's something else, which I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Uh, but if you collect them in the reverse order, you get oil slicks, which you can then use to kill the robot. And basically, the robot will step on them, and the robot will die, and you get a bunch of, of, of points. However, this doesn't last very long. The robot only dies for like five seconds, and then it respawns. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm, I'm going to try to collect these in the reverse order and see if I can get some oil slicks. Super decal. So here we go. Four, 
four. I hear one, two. Okay, I just need. Oil slick. There we go. Now, here's where things get tricky. So, ten oil slick. Now, to use an oil slick, you hit S. So, what I'm going to do? Let's see if I can time this right. Let's... Normal time bonus. Level 4. Well, I'll keep them for right now. User coin spawn. That gives you more coins. So... The oil slicks, you need to set them... And they'll... User invisible. Basically, when you... Start. When you press S, they're set in the direction that you're traveling. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get the robot to come near me and then I'll set one. So let's see if I can do it. Super, super deep. Yeah. All right, that did some damage. Oops. Level Steel level. Three. Now. Zero. H checks your high score, I think. Eight. Oil slick. Let's see if I can do this here. There we go. Zero. Fifteen. Coins remaining. One. Hundred. Seventy. Health. Super sweet. Come on. Step on the- oh crap. Five. Oil slick. So the thing about the oil slick... Oil slick. Alright, let's get some more oil slicks. 15. Oil slick. Now, I wanted to show you how the robot works, but... Let's see if I can do it here. Let's see. Come on. Stupid robot. That's how you kill the robot. Now, obviously that doesn't last very long. It lasts like two seconds as you just saw. Kinda sucks. But that's how the oil slicks work. One million fifty five thousand one hundred two points. Level two. Oh, and you hit shift to check your score. But it does give you quite a bit of points. Twelve. Normal time bonus. Level three. Come here, robot. Oops. Nineteen. Coins remaining. One hundred forty-eight health. So Start. that's the other thing. I think I just hit myself with the oil slick, which you can step on them and they will hurt you. So be careful. Super. Very dangerous. Ow. User point. Ow. Stupid robot. Enemy speed up. Oh crap. That's bad. User speed up. User points. Ow. Man, 
had I wanted to show off the rocket. User points. Twelve coins remaining. Eighty eight health. User speed up. I'd appreciate some coin or some health right now. That would be nice. Ah, uh, I took my item. That's just not fair. Time bonus. Level 3. Ow. 19. Coins remaining. 68. Health. User speed up. User coin spawn. Ah, come on. Stupid robot. User invisible. Now that means that you can hit the space bar to crazy time bonus. To move level to the next level. Four. Ow. Alright, now I'm on level four. User points. User coin spawn. Just give me more coins. User speed up. No, what I need right now is health. User coin spawn. User health increase. There we go. Enemy speed up. Ow. 15. Coins remaining. 78. Health. Ooh, the robot's faster. Bum, bum, bum. Crazy time bonus. Level 5. So I'm hitting the space bar because when it plays that... that User invisible. That, boom, 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 boom. That means that you can prematurely end the level without a user point. Without a penalty to your score. User points. Ow. Seven coins remaining. Fifty eight health. Hazard. Ow. Okay, that, that's a hazard. You don't want to step in those. That will do bad things to you. Ow. Wait. Okay, the hazard went away. Good. Two coins remaining. 38 health. Two more hits and I'm toast. Let me collect my coin. Normal time bonus. Coin shower bonus. Collect as many coins as you can. Yeah. This, you have to collect coins, as many coins as you can in like half a minute or a minute. Uh, 
25,000 points. Level 6. So that's one of the one of the bonus levels. And you get a bonus level every five levels, I believe. So. User invisible. User health increase. Excellent. User coin spawn. User invisible. Six coins remaining. Sixty-eight health. Let me show you what happens when you collect the pieces in the right order. Ow, I'm gonna die. Five coins remaining. Bombs. Health. Uh oh, those are bombs. They explode. Oh boy. Well, okay. Your final score is. 2,068,806 points. That hurt. Okay. Use your up and down start game. Alright. Uh, quit game and exit. Thank you for playing Super Deek Out. For more great accessible games, visit our website at www.danzgames.com. Desktop list. Well, that is super deke out. Um, as I said, it's endless and the robots get faster. I didn't get to show you the rocket, but I think the rocket shows up around level eight. If I'm not mistaken, it's like level eight, eight, uh, eight or nine, I believe. And yeah, that's, that's basically how the game works. Uh, you have to survive for as long as you possibly can. And it, it just gets harder and harder and harder and, until you can't take it. Uh, the other thing too is you can't save your progress. So if you need to go, um, if you need to go do something else, you're going to have to, um, either pause the game and leave your computer somewhere, or you're going to have to close it up and try again later. And sorry, people are messaging me on Skype. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, that is super deek out. Hope you've enjoyed this demo. I will, of course, be putting links in the description so that you can download all these. And yeah, have fun. Deca, Ob Studio. Uh, I'm gonna. Dell Touch. Let's see Ob here. Studio. Ob Studio is using your mic. Ob Studio button. Yep. Ob 60 exit. Start replay buffer. Unif Stop recording. Start streaming. Yeah, I don't want to stream. Stop recording. All right. Well, uh, as I said, you guys take care. I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, leave your comments, of course, and feedback. And until next time, bye.